welcome to my channel as you may have noticed it is very difficult to measure the nozzle to prop offsets on the printer mostly because of the low position now in this video i will show you a very accurate way to measure the nozzle to prop offsets first thing i do i home or access we go to prepare homing of the home. Now I move the hot end down until it scratches the paper. Now I secure the paper in place using some tape. Now I can heat the nozzle. This is not mandatory, but if you want to have more visible lines, you can heat the nozzle and have little filament goes out. It will be better to use uh, dark colors like blue, black, or whatever, but not white. Now I hit the nozzle. Make sure you don't hit the bag, just hit the nozzle. I go to control, temperature, hot end, and I hit it to 180. Now I will move the hot end to the left. I move it to 100. You can choose any number you want. But I will move for 100. There it is. I move the y axis to 140. Now I will note down these two numbers x100, y140. I will note down x1, 100, and y1, 140. Now I will move the nozzle to the right until the pin of the bell touch is just over the line I drew on the y-axis. Move it slowly. Here it is. It is. Let me show you. Here the pin of the bell touch is just over the line. I will also move the Y axis until the pin of the bell touch is over the other line parallel to the X axis. Here we are. The pin of the bell touch is at the corner of the two lines I draw one parallel to the x-axis and this second one parallel to the y-axis now i will note down these two numbers here
here we have x 145 and y 145 I will not down x2 145 and y2 145 now my nozzle to prop offsets will be for x x2 minus x1 that is 145 minus 100 that is 45 and for the y-axis will be y2 minus y1 that is 145 minus 140 that is 5 and here are my nozzle to prop offset for the x and y axis now we can check that on the paper I disable the staples and I move the as you can see here we have this rectangle that is drawn by the nozzle now we're going to measure the length of the rectangle as you can see the length of the rectangle is 45 millimeters and now the width the width is 5 millimeters this is exactly the numbers I got from from the screen as you can see it's very simple and also very accurate 